Hello and welcome to the studio of the WISIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event here in Geneva. Our guest today, I'm pleased to say, is Thomas Lamanauskas, who is the Deputy Secretary General of the ITU. Welcome. Thank you, Ms. Gillen. It's my pleasure to be here. It's great to have you here. Let's kick off by asking the question, what have you uh, achieved in the last 20 years? So if you look where we were at 20 or three, it's, it's very clear where the difference the world has made in, in that time. You know. Even like looking at the basic internet connectivity figures, at that time we had around 785 million users online. Now we have 5.4 billion. You know, the job is not finished, but you can see the progress. Now digital is everywhere. We talk about digital health as a reality, digital education as a reality, and COVID has showed, uh, showed us that a lot of countries managed to make that reality and leverage that in the very difficult circumstances as well. So we also have now new technologies that are integrated in our life, including artificial intelligence and others. So from, let's say, beginning in 2003, when we were just at the dawn of internet era, now we're very well into that and actually now getting to the further new and emerging technology eras as well. Then when you look from the UN perspective, coordination perspective, we also achieved a lot. We have a fun functioning forums for bringing different stakeholders together to further progress on the digital cooperation, digital development. So we have this with this forum that's been running now for 15 years and bringing different stakeholders together. We have an internet governance forum as well that focuses more on the digital governance issues. Well, with this looks in the development issues and how to really progress sustainable development agenda with, through the digital tools. We have UN coordination through the United Nations Group Information Society. We just had a meeting today, very well attended meeting, I should say, uh, as well, where the UN colleagues also coordinate uh, to make sure that we as UN system work together in a cohesive way um, to really leverage digital for the good of everyone. So I think we both achieved in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of impacts on the ground but also achieved in terms of how we as UN work as a system, how we bring other stakeholders, be it private sector, government, civil society, academia, together with us on that journey as well. So you talk about what's been achieved in the last 20 years. What about the next 20 years? What's the vision beyond 2025? Thank you very much. So this is a part of the job that's not yet done, and it will also will always be, I think, unfinished business. That means really bringing everyone online. So we still have around one third of the population that are not online. And actually in some uh, regions, especially when we talk about lower and middle income countries, less a third population is online, actually. So we still need to bring everyone there. And of course, it is a moving target, you know, because every time we're talking about different technology, different internet speeds, different capabilities that, that technology can offer. So if, if in 2003 we just were talking about 3G and starting with that, now we're talking about 5G and by the end of this decade we'll talk about 6G just in a mobile broadband era, not, not talking about the fiber connectivity and satellite and other things. So we really need to bridge those gaps, bring everyone online and uh, empower everyone with digital instruments. Uh, the other piece is that we really need to kind of ensure that we harness well the new and emerging technologies, and that this process, the WISIS process, is adapted to that. So, of course, the most spoken of technology is artificial intelligence now. So, you know, we have both risks of it, and some people, of course, take those risks to the extreme, thinking about the Terminator scenarios, you know, but also have a lot of benefits. And, you know, it, to empower uh, digital, empower health, empower education, empower agriculture, and we see some of the numbers that say that uh, AI could bring up to 4.4 trillion US dollars to the global economy and could also save, for example, greenhouse gas emissions up to 10% up to as well. So really bridging the gaps, really harnessing uh, new technologies in responsible ways, but also really making sure that digital is embedded in everyone's life in that positive way. You know? So I think we need to further progress on that journey where you know, digital health is all about, it's just a health, where digital agriculture is just an agriculture, where digital transport is just a transport, where digital is so embedded that it helps us to transform those real areas. And then hopefully, it's, uh, especially when we talk about beyond 2025, but or beyond, before 2030, when, as you know, sustainable development agenda will finish, that digital really provides a needed boost, really needed boost for our sustainable development. But by 2030, we manage at least somewhat rescue that agenda. So WISIS has brought all of these people together. Um, why does WISIS matter? I think it matters because it's a place for the people to solve the issues together in partnerships. And I think from the very beginning of the WISIS process, it has a few key elements there. 
it has an element of inclusion. Inclusion among uh, you know, developing countries and developed countries, inclusion about different stakeholder groups in between private sector, governments, academia, and society will come together. And they don't come together here in the just formally, or we're not just saying them open the doors. We actually come together with meaningful uh, voices in a meaningful way to express themselves and to co create together. And now, over the years, we manage this process to work. When we first started with this forum, there was 100 people meeting in Geneva to discuss with this action lines. Now we have over 2,000 people in those halls from different stakeholder groups, from nearly 50 UN agencies, you know, really kind of progressing on and digital work together. And then finally, it also has embedded in a very meaningful way this important frameworks like human rights framework, uh, like ethical frameworks that allows us to make sure that technology that we'll harness is harnessed for the benefit of the people and with the people in mind and uh, in the responsible way that would both bring those benefits to us but also help us to be aware first and then control the risks as well. Thomas Lamanaskos, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Jelen. Really a pleasure. And likewise. And more to come from the studio of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event here in Geneva.